Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. There is such a wide spectrum of people in Key West, so many just incredible and passionate people. I have a couple of them on today's show, the first one being Christina Oxenberg. Now, this woman has such a remarkable background that even includes being the daughter of Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia. She's going to talk much more about that with us this morning. Christina is also a respected author, and she's living down here in Key West, really focusing on her single true love, which is writing. Christina, I am so happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Well, it has been so much fun reading up on you, Christina, and I can tell already by the accent, and I did read it, that she didn't grow up here in the States, did you? No, no. <laughs> I was born in New York City and spirited away as a, as a baby to England. And mm -hmm. I left England when I was 15 or 16. And this is how I speak. So now for the rest of my life, <laughs> I get to explain why I have this snobby accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's a fabulous accent. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Christina, as I mentioned, you're the daughter of Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia. Christina, I think we could probably just do a whole show on that. You've got to have <laughs> so many stories about your childhood, teenage years, and you actually did write some of those stories in one of your books. Royal Blue was mm -hmm. a novel published by Simon & Schuster in um, uh, 98, mm -hmm. and uh, it does sort of loosely cover my childhood. My mother's name, HRH, Princess Elizabeth of Yugoslavia, does not fit on an American Express card. They won't even let you, you know, they were like, no, come up with something else <laughs> for that. So there is a family name, which is Kara Georgievich, mm -hmm. um, which is equally impossible to spell for very, ver a variety of reasons. But I've never been to Serbia. Mm -hmm. My mother now lives there. When she was four years old, she and her family were thrown out of, it was then called Yugoslavia. It was the middle of World War II. Um, there was a coup, and my grandparents and my mother were chucked out. They were given 24 hours to leave or face a firing squad, so they split. Mm -hmm. um, and then the rule was that they, the country went communist, and my family in particular were not allowed to return Mm -hmm. So, um, in the 90s, when the walls were crumbling down for communism, my mother snuck back in um, as the wife of a Peruvian diplomat. So, she wasn't using her own name because she might have not been permitted into the country. But anyway, so she went in as Mrs. Ulloa, wife of Peruvian diplomat. Mm -hmm. And so, she went to the house where she had been born. And there was a gardener there who was aged 80 million years old, still alive, having been the gardener when she was there as a child. And so he knew who she was, and he thought he was having a hallucination, and he threw himself down on the ground, and he kissed her feet, and she was like, I'm staying. <laughs> this is how I always expected life to be. <laughs> and she stayed. Mm -hmm. So for the last 15 years, she's been living there. And of course, the climate has changed. And mm -hmm. Um, the country welcomes our family back. Right. Well, what an interesting woman. And she has a very interesting daughter, too, because you are so interesting yourself. Thank you, Jenna. All right. Key West. How in the world did Key West come into your life, Christina? Um, well, a couple of things. Uh, for one thing, I was buried under a mound of snow in the Northeast and f needed to get away for a weekend. Mm -hmm. That weekend, of course, is now three and a half years long and I'll never leave um, because I, I love it here. I've totally found my tribe. Um, there are even Serbians here. There's er it's a, like a little Benetton land. There's everything you could possibly want. <laughs> I love it. Well, I'm glad you're here for one. And you're focusing right now too, Christina, on your writing, which as I mentioned, is your single true love. It is, it is. Um, and, uh, you know, it's possible that I just don't have any other skills. And I have, I've <laughs> worked at, a, at many, many jobs. Um, mm -hmm. PR, uh, I was I worked in a kitchen, disaster. <laughs> um, and yeah, this writing is, it suits me and it, 
and it's better for everybody else. I'm mm -hmm. alone at home in the pajamas, bothering no one, except mm -hmm. for once a week, I put a story up, and, and then there's that horrible last option, the button called submit, <laughs> you know? And it seems so personal. It's like, oh, could you just say it another way, <laughs> you know? Right. And then you hit submit and mm -hmm. pray. <laughs> well, people love your work. In fact, I was reading something up. I have my paper right yes. here, because I want to get this quote right, OK? okay. You were quoted by Robert Kennedy Jr. as being one of the most lethal wits of the Western world. Impressive. Yes. yes. <laughs> well, um, not as impressive as it could have been because originally he said that I was the most lethal wit of the entire world. <laughs> and I was like, write that down, write that down. And then he paused and he thought about it and he said, no. I'm only going to give you the Western world because I've never understood the sense of humor of the Orientals. <laughs> and I said, this is completely unfair. Then in less than three seconds, I've lost so much territory. But what could I do? Hey. So <laughs> <laughs> it's, still, it's still a good quote. And Christina, you're hilarious. I mean, your Thank books you. are great. How many books have you released so far? Five so far. Mm -hmm. And there's another one in sort of production. Um, I have been. I, my first two books, Taxi and Royal Blue, were with real old-fashioned um, publishing houses, Simon & Schuster and Quartet. And then I was, uh, I was taken away, I was distracted um, uh, by this fiber that I, that I tripped over that was so much softer than cashmere that I, <laughs> I just got completely addicted to and entranced and fell into this business. For eight years, I sold sweaters made out of this elixir of fiber. that you, It's mind-blowing. Mm -hmm. But I don't care about fashion, and I don't want to run a business, and I did it really badly. So after eight years, it was, it was a blessing to go back to writing. And that's mm -hmm. when I realized how um, it really is better for, for me and everybody else included if I mm -hmm. just get back in the pajamas. Stay with, your, stay. Stay with your writing. Well, yeah. please stay with your writing because it's good. You, and your latest book was Life is Short. Read short stories. Give me yeah. a little summary on this book. Okay, well, these stories are mostly about Key West. They are very short. They have 500 words, almost on the nose, because I'm a little bit neurotic. <laughs> um, and they are funny. And the joke is, my it's always on me. I, I don't skewer anybody else. Um, because I can't afford the lawsuits. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and also, it's just not where I'm coming from at all. So. They're, they're lighthearted, they're funny. Um, the ones that aren't funny are a little creepy, which I figure is as good, <laughs> you know? Just to like, it's based their entertainment. That's all they are, okay. basically. I bet all of them are hilarious. Christina, okay, I have a question for you. Here in Key West, who's been one of the most fascinating, interesting people that you've met? I'm really glad you <laughs> asked that, because having lived many, many places and met, great deal of extraordinary people. Here in Key West, I continue to be impressed and amazed and, and sort of awed by the people that I meet here. Um, everyone's an intellectual, everyone's a reader, no one owns a television. Um, they're very opinionated, they're very philosophical. I'm just blown away. And then I've been lucky enough to meet all the writers here. There's this um, incredible group of very illustrious authors here. Everyone from Edmund White to Robert Stone to um, Annie Dillard, Judy Bloom, mm -hmm. Alison Lurie. It goes on and on and on. And I've been to some parties where it's them. And I feel like I'm in a library that's like <laughs> animated, you know? <laughs> it's just completely mind blowing. Okay. So I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And of course, I met David Wolkowski, who I call the king of Key West. You okay. know, he developed and built the Pier House and right. has been very instrumental in making, in preserving Key West, keeping mm -hmm. it looking as beautiful as it does today. Mm -hmm. And he has an island where I am invited for lunch. So what's not to hey. love? <laughs> You're in heaven. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Are you here to stay for a while, Christina? Yes. In fact, 
I've come equipped today with my Serbian flag, <laughs> and I, I have a small bag of them, and I'm planting them at strategic, including David Wolkowski's island. So I'm okay. slowly taking over. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. <laughs> so you're not leaving, and no. I can't wait to dig in to some of your, your latest novels, Christina, and just be able to read more up on your writing. And everybody can check out you on the website, wooldomination.com. Yes. It's the world of Christina Oxenberg. It is. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being on the show this morning, Christina. Thank you, Jenna. You are a pleasure. <laughs> you are a pleasure, and I can't wait to talk more with you in the future. Great. So. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now. There's much more to come. Stay with me.